How's it going you wonderful people it's Jay and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use your phone as a webcam in OBS so grab your phone and let's go. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to do all that in under five minutes. We're going to try two different apps. The first one is called Droid Cam. It's compatible with Android and iPhones. The second app is called iOS Camera and it's only compatible with iPhones and iPads. So let's do this. Okay, so let's start with Droidcam first. It's a super simple app that lives on your phone and connects to OBS using a plugin. So to start, visit the Droidcam OBS website, links are below. Please note there are two versions of Droidcam. One is an older version, which is just a normal little program that sits on your PC. We're not gonna use that. The other one is a specific OBS plugin called Droidcam for OBS. So scroll down on the site and grab the app for your Android phone or your iPhone. The next thing to do is to download the plugin for OBS. It's compatible with Windows, Mac and Linux, so it should cover, hopefully, most of you. Go through the normal installation setup and make sure that you select the same folder that your copy of OBS is installed. Next, open up your copy of OBS, click Add New Source, and if you see Droidcam in the list, then Droidcam is correctly installed. Select it and add it to your scene. Next, select the Droidcam source, right click it and then click properties. You should see the option to pick your resolution. I believe the higher resolutions are only available with the Pro version. The video format is best to leave as H.264. Then you can select your device. So there are two options with Droidcam. One is a wired version, which I would totally recommend. It's the most reliable, or the other is Wi-Fi. So let's start with the wired approach first. So make sure your phone is connected via USB, and then open up the Droidcam app back in OBS, click refresh device list, and you should see a device listed in the dropdown. Click on it and then hit the activate button and you should see your phone now working as a webcam. If you instead prefer to use Wi-Fi, all you need to do is make sure your phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network that your PC or your laptop is connected to and you should see your Wi-Fi IP listed in the Droidcam app on your phone. All you need to do is copy that IP address into the OBS and then in the device dropdown, select use Wi-Fi IP. Hit the activate button and we should be good to go. If you want to tweak the lighting, the balancing and all that kind of stuff, you can do this directly in the Droidcam app on your phone. The other app we're going to use today, which is for iPhone only, is called Camera for OBS Studio or OBS Camera for short. To start, visit the OBS Camera website and download the OBS plugin for either Windows or Mac. Go to the normal installation setup. Make sure you select the same folder that your copy of OBS is installed. Then download the camera for OBS Studio app. Go through the normal app setup, enable your permissions on the app for your camera or your microphone. And then back in OBS, click add new source. And if you see iOS camera in the list, then iOS camera is correctly installed. Select it and add it to your scene. Then select the iOS camera source, right click it and click properties. Make sure your USB cable is connected from your phone to your computer and laptop. And then you should see your device listed under the iOS device. If not, click on refresh devices and you should see it in the list. To remove the watermark, all you need to do is get the premium edition of the app. To tweak the focus, the balancing, the lighting and more, you can do this directly in the iOS camera app. So there we go, two different ways of using your phone as a webcam in OBS. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you've got any questions, be sure to ask them in the comments below or drop by our Discord, we'll be happy to help. We have a tech channel in there as well. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, more streaming setups and streaming tip videos, more Nintendo videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And before you move on to the next video, be sure to check out our exclusive merch, Geek and Gaming Designs voted for by you. A huge thank you for your support. And there we go, a quick little video on how to use your phone as a webcam. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.